On the 11th of March, live from LA, you'll see all your favourite movie stars from the year's best movies in one place, the Oscars. But there's no movies without a script, and Aussie screenwriter Tony McNamara is nominated for Best Adapted Screenplay for Poor Things. She's an experiment. Good evening. Her brain and her body are not quite synchronised. It's the critically acclaimed fantastical comedy starring Emma Stone about a woman named Bella Baxter brought to life by a scientist in Victorian London. Good God, Bella. I must go punch that baby. Poor Things has scored Tony his second Oscar nomination. He was up for an Academy Award in 2019 for The Favourite. Look at me! How dare you! Close your eyes! In fact, Tony's a familiar face this awards season. He's been nominated for a Golden Globe, a BAFTA, and recently won an Actor International Award. His words are Hollywood gold. Tony, thank you for the line, I must go punch that baby. (laughs) It was life-changing for me. Um... And Tony McNamara joins me now from London. Good morning to you. Look, congratulations on your Oscar nomination. We often talk about Oscar buzz when we see a film. When you're in the project, at what point do you realise this could be an Oscar winner? And, and how did you find out that you were nominated for an Oscar? Um, I think when you're in it, you... I think we, I knew we won Venice Film Festival and that sometimes is a, tells you that maybe you'll be in the race. And then it wasn't really till we'd done, maybe we'd done New York and a couple of Telluride. You do the sort of festivals and then you kind of realise. And then it came out and not just the critics liked it, the public seemed to like it. And then we thought, oh, we're in, we're in with a shot. And then I found out just watching the live uh, announcement with my wife in the kitchen. <laughs> what a way to find out. I love that. It wasn't wasn't a Hollywood glamour. It was just like <laughs> making, making sandwiches going, oh, yeah, you did. Yeah, you did it. You've done it. And you made the sandwich too. Uh, Emma Stone yeah. brings your words to life so brilliantly in this film. She is the favourite to win best Ac- the Best Actress Oscar. Of course, you've worked with her before on Cruella. What is it like working with her? She, she's an incredible actress. Yeah, she's amazing. Yeah, we've done three things now, the favourite Cruella yeah. in this. Uh, she's just like a great person and a really fearless actor and... And, you know, she's a lot of fun to be around and to work with. So, uh, you know, I just feel lucky that she uh, she keeps doing things I write, you know. So, you know, it's just uh, a matter of feeling grateful, really. Poor Things, based on a book written in 1992, came across your desk, I understand, in about 2007. Here we are in 2024 <laughs> talking about this. Is it always such a slow burn, Tony? Um, yeah, usually. I think it's usually five years. It depends. Like, Cruella was quicker because I think, you know, it's a different kind of movie. It's a studio sort of franchise picture. So they can go a bit faster in a way. But I think with this, and Yorgos, the director, is very... He takes his time. You know, we were never in a hurry. He's ready when he's ready. And I was making a TV show at the same time I was trying to write this. So sometimes I couldn't do anything for eight months and he went and made a film. And so sometimes he couldn't do anything. So it's a bit of a mix. And then it takes a long time. We shot it like um, in the middle of COVID, like 20... 21. So it still takes a long time to come out, even after you've finished making it. And then finally, all the stars align. Uh, Tony, you found out about your Oscar nomination making sandwiches in the kitchen. Are you prepared for the Oscars red carpet and all that that entails? Yeah, I think so. I think I'm the first, I got nominated once before and it was a bit of a like, whoa, uh, crazy shock time and this time I feel like I'll probably get to enjoy it more and be more relaxed in the process probably. You're a seasoned veteran now, round two. Not quite, not quite. <laughs> hey Tony, we can't let you go without saying goodbye to your mum or saying hi to your mum in all. Melbourne. Hi mother in Carlton, hope you're having a nice morning. <laughs> See even if you're an Oscar nominated screenwriter you still got to say hi to your mum back home. Uh, Tony, we will see you on the red carpet at the Oscars. Thank you so much for joining us on Sunrise this morning. No worries. Thanks, Edwina.